It's a disorder that can keep men from becoming fathers. It's called Klinefelter syndrome. There are several symptoms, and our Todd Boatwright shows us how they can show up in even the youngest patients. Freddie, this is Freddie, and this is about three years old. Freddie is part of the picture perfect and family. It's what you can't Freddy. see, though, that sent mom and dad scrambling for That's answers. Freddie was born with the Klinefelter <laughs> syndrome. He didn't start walking until he was um, 16 months, which is not overly late, but he couldn't get from a sitting to a standing position until he was three years old. Klinefelter means Freddie was born with an extra X chromosome. So it'll be 47XXY, and that can have some uh, clinical effects. Which are hard to spot at Freddie's age. Some doctors aren't looking for KS or don't know about it. Freddie was misdiagnosed. And this neurologist, he didn't know about it either. He told you what? Uh, he, he just told us everything that wasn't wrong with Freddie. The diagnosis finally came with a muscle tissue test. In older guys, Kleinfelter is easy to spot because of a major side effect. They will almost universally have a sperm count of zero. Some men will find very low sperm counts in. And that meant becoming a father was out. Now the odds are changing thanks to better knowledge and technology. But we actually go to the operating room and surgically look through the testicle with the man asleep under anesthesia. And about 70% of the time, we can find small pockets of sperm that we can retrieve and use that in combination with in vitro fertilization. That's my dad with Freddie. That's at Legoland. <laughs> It'll be a while before Freddie is ready for fatherhood, but in the meantime, his mom and dad are armed with the knowledge they need to make sure the rest of us know about Kleinfelter and what's on the outside that counts. Mr. Karsten has started an online support group for Kleinfelter syndrome. For more information, check out Kleinfelters.org.